This 20-episode audio program showcases how the veteran artist has retained the vigorous creativity in his nearly 70-year career and his deep reflection on art, life, and world. It shows Han's artistic creation process and achievements. It is recorded with three-dimensional stereo technology, enhancing listeners' acoustic enjoyment. In the program, Han Meilin talks about how he became an artist. His passion for China's profound cultural legacy is closely linked to his experiences in life. In this path, I and my friends are holding on to my hands, holding on to my hands, from the top to the bottom. There is a pig, a cow, 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 a cow. 这条石头路，就是我从事艺术的摇篮。韩美玲 was born in 1936 in East China's Shandong Province. In the 1970s, he started traveling across the country, drawing inspiration from folk art and striving to rejuvenate ancient crafts. In nearly 70 years of his creative career, the artist gained great achievements. In calligraphy, painting, ceramics, sculpture, design, and many other fields, the Beijing Olympic mascot Fuwa, the Air China emblem, animal zodiac stamps, Han's creations have won universal praise, and Chinese traditional culture is the source of his endless inspiration. I am in awe. Why have my creations for so many years been overlooked? 为什么我在每次的创作大潮中没有寻寻觅觅？最重要的一个原因是，我从来都把传统和生活连在一起，使我的创作不断，而且是看得见的，像小学生一样，天天向上。Han Meilin has a talent for absorbing the essence of traditional Chinese culture. And combining many disparate forms. Now, even in his 80s, he's still bursting with creative energy and exploring new mediums of art. For him, art comes from life and is presented for the people. He says that as a Chinese artist, his art has always been rooted in the Chinese nation and culture. Thanks to the audio essay series, more people can perceive Han Meilin's world of art. And feel the depth of his artistic inheritance. Yang Ran, CGTN.